the rest of this week feels a bit disjointed and that's because next week I am going away and it always feels like a weird kind of limbo because I know I'm going away I've got to get organized I've got to make sure that I've uh, closed down my e-commerce shops because although I used to take a lot of work with me when I went away down to my parents I don't do that anymore it's not worth the effort of having to pack everything up stick it in the back of the car get it to the other end get it organized for the amount of sales I get so I don't do that anymore so I just need to make sure that my e-commerce stores are shut down uh, with like vacation notices on them so that people don't buy not that there's a lot of buying going on at the moment. Um, I need to get my home prepared so I have plants to water. I've got to pack everything so I don't forget anything. So all my tech, um, a list of things that I need to take. I've altered a coat for a friend. I've got things for my parents. Um, while I'm away, it's my birthday and we're doing a meal out. So I've got to pack a nice outfit rather than just my usual sitting around at home and walking gear. And I've been worrying about what on earth I'm going to wear because I haven't really thought about it. And I want to wear something really nice because it's a milestone birthday and we don't usually go out for birthdays in that way. So I've tried to find something that's a bit more special. And now I'm like, oh my God, I just look like a potato sack tied up in the middle when I put on a nice dress. Um, but I think I've worked it out. I'm going to have to take it with me and then show my mum and say, look, do you think this is going to be okay? Because... I can't remember the last time I dressed up to go anywhere. Um, I mean, I do at Christmas when uh, me and my parents go out for Christmas Day. We go out to a restaurant for lunch. Uh, but it's not really, really posh. It's smart, casual, so it's really easy to work out what to wear. But it's been a good few years, at least a few years since I got dressed up to go anywhere for a particular event. Um, so I'm not very good at it anymore. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, I'm just not good. So I'm writing lists. I always put lists together of all the things that I need to take, all the stuff I need to do. Um, I have a lot going on for this week. Most of this week is normal in terms of work. This evening, it's Tuesday today. This evening, I have a cleaning job to do. Tomorrow during the day, I have a cleaning job to do. I've got to go to a couple of supermarkets afterwards. I've got to fill the car up with petrol, and then the car's ready to go because it had its service and MOT yesterday, so I know everything will be good for the road. Um, and then at the weekend, I've got to cram two cleans into Saturday so that I have Sunday to spend at home getting everything packed and ready before I head off on the Monday morning. Um, so this is a fairly new routine of mine, still doing the cleaning jobs whilst prepping to go away, because I only started doing that last September. And because I only go away every three months, there's not a lot of it going on. So I'm going to get organised with all that. Um, so yeah, last two cleans on the Saturday, get all my invoices out so I get paid while I'm away. Looking forward to two weeks of not having to do any cleaning. I won't miss that for one second. Um, I need to do a update on expenses. A few more bills for the year have been finalized. So the council tax was dealt with. Now I know what I'm paying for my car service and MOT package. Uh, for the next three years as it is uh, but I can work out what that's going to cost me this year um, I've had YouTube's another interesting one so last month I did really well on YouTube financially that will be paid out this week and I was trying to work out why I did so much better last month. My thought was that it was just because I was posting a video every day. And I was doing that just because it was a, a busy month, February. There were lots of things to talk about. And I broke it up into videos of less than 35 minutes. So there were some that were 10 minutes, some were 30 minutes. And I think that is why. Because at the end of the day, my money comes from people watching the adverts. So the more videos I put up... The more people are watching each chunk and if they're shorter people are probably checking in more because it's not so much work to have to do 
This month I've been doing so far every other day and I've done a mixture of shorter videos and the longer um, kind of almost like week in the life diary style ones and they've been going up to an hour and I probably should be cutting some of those down and that would give me more videos that are uh, every day but that would mean cutting a week in the life into two videos but maybe that will work better so I'm going to look and see what March's money looks like I think by posting a video every day what I'm seeing at the moment is that that doubles my money but do I want to do that for the sake of it or do I just cut down the longer videos so that I'm almost getting a video every day or do I find other things to post about I don't want to change the format of my channel in that I don't want to post videos just for the sake of it, just to make money. It needs to be things that are happening in my life because that's that's what I do. Um, I don't make up stuff. It's anything that's happening in my life or anything that I'm thinking about, anything that's bothering me, anything that maybe I've seen something in the news or somewhere else on YouTube, but it's something that affects me or makes me think about how I live my life that's all important stuff certain videos will attract more viewers so anything to do with the state pension or universal credit uh, inheritance tax anything to do with the DWP or the government perhaps no surprise that that sort of thing encourages more viewers uh, whether or not I um, hashtag it I don't know if I think that YouTube looks at when you say certain words like DWP or universal credit and it uses that in its algorithm, I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to keep posting every other day for the rest of March and of course I'm going to be away which restricts my recording opportunities because my family don't know that I do a YouTube channel. I try to run it very much under the radar with people that I know. As far as I'm aware, nobody that I know knows I have a YouTube channel and I want it to stay that way. Not that they're really YouTube watchers anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So I won't be going out as much, so I won't have as many opportunities to record anyway. Weather dependent, whether or not I get out and get to do any walks. If the weather's rubbish, I won't be able to get out and do any of that. The rest of it will be based around whatever I'm doing around the home um, and very often there are other people at home. It's, it's very rare that I get an opportunity to be on my own there when everyone's around because my parents are retired and you know people are hanging around etc etc. So when I, if I want to record most of the time I have to go out and do it so that involves me having to go out for a walk or if I'm going out in the car I can do a video in the car if I'm going out on an errand or whatever else it is I'm doing. So I would imagine the next couple of weeks um, aren't even going to be every other day videos. So I try to plan ahead so by the time I'm coming back my going away videos have uh, started to run. So nothing's in chronological order because I just really need to fill the space. Because if I go away and I can't record for a week and nothing comes out I don't know how that's going to affect my channel and as my YouTube channel is now an income stream I do need to be mindful of that you know it's helping me stay self-employed it's helping keep me out of a nine-to-five on all the things that I that I that I don't want to do like the nine-to-five and allows me to keep doing what I do and just in improving on it my YouTube channel has only been monetized for three months so it's still very early days but I really want to work on that of course it takes a lot of time and I'm spending a lot more time editing videos and uploading videos than I used to. It's definitely become a part-time job and because I'm doing that more I'm doing less of other things like doing surveys because I'm just not having the time. Editing takes a long time so I need the videos to pay, I need, need YouTube to pay because it's taking up so much of my work time. And I do have people who donate through coffee and things like that, and that really helps, and that adds to 
content creation paying because people are paying on the back end of seeing videos. So these are all these little things that are interconnected. But I'm feeling buoyant. Spring is almost here. As you can see, we have sunshine and the temperatures are really up now. Um, I'm hardly using my hot water bottle at all in the evenings and I think I might be able to put my hot water bottle away permanently very soon. By the time I come back from my two week trip away, it will be proper springtime. Um, winter layers can go away. I can have a proper spring clean, get all the windows open, do the cleaning. When I get back, there's things like I want to strip the bed and wash all the, um, the mattress protectors and things like that and get everything nice and ship shape ready for the spring season. And I'm excited about that. And that's how we're feeling at the moment. So um, this, I think I might put this in as a short video on its own. You know, I've now been talking for 11 minutes and I was going to add lots of other things to this, but this feels like a good uh, point to take stock. So I am going to do an end of month uh, money roundup, but that will come later than at the end of March because I won't be around to do it. But that's okay, we can cope with that. Um, I've been dabbling with more pie charts and um, and other charts on Excel spreadsheets, so I might have some pie charts to show you, show you how the first three months of the year are going so far in terms of income and outgoings. I love a pie chart, and it's a really good way to quick glance at what is paying, what is doing well, what isn't, uh, and my income streams earn in all sorts of different ways. So I have two income streams at the moment which are earning half my income and all the others are on the other side and they make up the other 50%. And that's fine because I know what is guaranteed this year and I know this year will be fine. It will have a knock-on effect for next year. So we will have to see, I'm gonna have to think ahead how that's going to work but I will save that for my end of month roundup because it's just a bit more detailed and I can show you with the pie charts what is going on and then you can understand what my focus needs to be for much of the rest of this year. I'm not panicking, there's nothing to worry about but I do need to at the very least encourage my side hustles to pay more. I need to decide what I'm going to focus on, what is going to be the focus of my how can I make this pay better. So I will talk about that on a separate, uh, separate video because there's all sorts of interesting things coming. So that's my little update for what is now the second half of March. It's going so fast, I don't like it. We are rapidly galloping towards spring proper. And before you know it, it's then going to be summer. And it's quite nerve wracking to think that you've made all these plans and you, you have all this time to do things and then suddenly it's here. And it, it just goes so fast, I mean, I work for myself, I work from home, but the days don't go slowly, they, they gallop and it's very strange because I'm not at the behest of anybody else really for work and yet it's flying on by. <laughs> Is that good or bad? I don't know, I don't know. And of course once I get back uh, after my two week trip there are other trips that I want to do. My first car camping trip will be coming up. I hope in April, that's what I really want to do. There's another day trip that I really want to do that I was trying to do before I go away, but the weather's just been against me. I don't want to be going out walking in the pouring rain, um, and especially where I would be going, where the weather would be worse, probably. So I'm now gonna save those for when I get back, and that'll give me some fun stuff to record in April, which will be nice. Uh, so that's all stuff to look forward to. So if you're not subscribing, do subscribe because there are other interesting things coming up if you're interested in finances, budgeting, cost of living, self-employment, side hustles, hiking, British countryside, la-di-da-di-da-di-da. -di -da -di -da. 
so there you go that's my warning to you do subscribe and uh, the next couple of months should be quite interesting so I will catch up with you soon I hope you're having a good week and I hope that spring is coming your way and you're starting to feel a little bit better and it's not quite as cold at home I'm loving not having to wear as many layers I've got windows open here today look just in jumper layers and I've just got one jumper layer on this does not happen very often um, so do join me and comment, like, subscribe, donate if you feel the urge to. Everything goes into the pot and keeps a roof over my head and food on the table. It's not extra spending cash. Uh, we only spend what we have to here. So literally every little helps, as Tesco would say. So I'll catch up with you soon and have a great week and I'll speak to you again soon. See you later. Bye.